Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing today? Whacked my hand on a bag sitting there. Sorry, I got scared myself. <laughs> Welcome to day five of Vlogtober. I'm a very, very sleepy Heather, so I think today is going to end up being the shortest Vlogtober of the month, maybe. <laughs> Definitely of the first five days. Um, it is, so it's, it's normally been, I don't know, four or five in the morning uh, when I have recorded. And actually, I think it is already four. Um, I had intended to record at like 2.30 or 3, but I did not get to work on my squares after the video yesterday or before work today, um, like I had intended. So what I ended up doing was I, I came home. I per I purposely uh, like picked up dinner on the way home so that I didn't have to like come home and cook anything like get anything ready or anything. Um, I w my plan was like come home, eat something, share it with Maverick, of course, because I can't. You know how it is when you have fur babies, probably especially dogs. Like I haven't had cats since I was really little. And I know, like, as, as a little kid, I still always shared my food with my cats. I don't know if, like, for you cat mothers, do you still share human food with your cats? I, I don't know if you still do. <laughs> like, I don't know if cats want human food. I would imagine they do, right? Seems like they would. Um, I don't think cats are that picky. I mean... I've heard cats are picky, but <laughs> food-wise, I wouldn't think they were that picky. Um, and do, do you still just... Like, what I'm saying is, most... <sighs> most dog parents. <laughs> I'm sure you know the same... Like, I mean, some dog parents are, are strictly... My dog does not get human food. I, I understand that. But, like... If your dog does get human food, you sit down with the understanding that if you eat, your dog is going to get some of it. That, that's what I'm saying is like, if your cat does get human food, do you sit down with the understanding that your cat is going to get some human food? Like, that's what I'm asking. That was a really long, long-winded way of asking that. Like, anyway, I was just curious if it's the same because like if I sit down like I, I know if I sit down to eat like even if I if I brought food home instead of cooking it that Maverick like Maverick's gonna sit down because he knows he's getting some like there's no question um, I'll even look at him because like I like really spicy stuff and I won't feed him spicy stuff but yet I always manage to find like because like tonight I brought home um, a buffalo chicken sandwich and he he's not gonna get that he knows he's not gonna get that but on the buffalo chicken sandwich, there's lettuce. And um, very luckily for him, because like what I had planned on doing was picking the, the bun that it comes on. Like picking before you get to the buffalo sauce, just picking the bun at the top. <laughs> so he didn't get any spice at all and just got some, some bites of bread. But I didn't have to do that because... Uh, the lettuce is much better for him, and they had so much lettuce on it that with without any buffalo sauce on it, there were just pile, like piles of lettuce. So he got some pretty big pieces of lettuce, and that's what he got instead, which I'm sure he would have much rather had the bread, and I'm sure he would have much rather braved having some chicken, but um, he knows once I say, like, it's spicy or it's hot, like, he already knows he's, he's not getting anything. <laughs> out of that like food right there because no <laughs> um I I just I don't know like I don't like giving them spicy food. I don't like we as as people who understand that it's spicy have the choice of oh that might hurt my stomach I just feel like he's not gonna have that choice so I don't want to I don't know I don't want to hurt his tummy you know without him realizing what's going on um me personally, spicy stuff doesn't ever hurt my stomach. Um, and I think with everything messed up, like I've talked about 
how like when I was a kid, I I think I messed up my own like sinus stuff going on in here. It's why I don't have like hardly any sense of smell, and um, I have like this whole ear poppy thing going on. I think due to my sinuses, um, my doctors have never connected the two, but I think they're I think they're connected for sure. Um, because my doctor, like, I've even been to specialists. They can't figure out what's specifically going on. They just have, like, best guesses <laughs> with the ear popping. And, uh, like, there's no fluid. There's no this or that. I, I think it's connected. Um, and they, none of them know the whole story behind young Heather macing herself <laughs> um, and sniffing it like perfume and all that stuff because I thought I had a hold of my mom's perfume when I was a kid. None of them know that story, <laughs> like none of the doctors that I've seen. So unless they're watching this video, I guess, then they do, but <laughs> prob probably not. What would those odds be? <laughs> Um, anyway, now I'm just way off track because I'm sleepily rambling. Um, I had to say sleepy. Um, but yeah, I had even, like, I brought home dinner and I was like, I'm not going to cook. I'm just going to work on the squares and then I'm going to come record. And I mean, that, the problem was... I kept like starting to fall asleep because I was even like, I'm just going to, and then I'll feed Maverick early after I record while it's uploading and then we'll go to bed early. And that's still my plan. But like I said, normally, uh, normally I record at like four or five lately and I had just the highest hopes of recording this at like two o'clock and feeding Maverick and going to bed. But I think it's already like four because I kept nodding off. <laughs> I'm just I'm so tired I have like kind of a second wind going right now but I know once once I'm done and I'm upstairs in bed I know that um once my head hits the pillow I'm I'm gonna be out I'm gonna be done for but um yeah and I still have this is what this is the fifth it's Saturday so I still have today to go once I, like once I wake up uh, I'm, I've got the one work day left and then I get a couple days off. Um, I started my steroid block today for my feet. Um, which of course they, like by tonight they've, it's started working. Like it doesn't, it's not like, it's not like it's taken like all of the pain away, but like it's reduced it. And today was the greatest dosage, you know. Um, it reduced it. So it's like a more tolerable pain. And like, <laughs> that of course is, because I already told you that I was like scared about the whole surgery thing. That's what had stopped me in the past. So already today too, I was like, well, at the moment, I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I can live with it. That'll go away. <laughs> that feeling will go away. Um, because work was really bad today. Um, like, the workload was awful. Uh, just for, for the amount of people we had, it was unrealistic let, let us say that it was super unrealistic uh the the place has been going through uh like it's that time of the year um where we're getting i think i think that they switched um I want to say supervisors. I don't remember the name that, that this place has deemed the guy's title or whatever, but 
he's an outside guy that comes in to like grade everything in the place the way it's ran the people who run it you know so us meaning us um the cleanliness level of the facility uh just everything basically um he watches the shift itself like it, it's mostly the day shift that they watch so since i come in in the evening they don't really watch me or my people um which i would say thankfully but honestly I, and i know i know this is uh I know this sounds like I'm full of myself, but I feel like my people are held to a little bit higher expectation <laughs> right now. So I feel like my people might have passed. <laughs> I know that's mean. That's mean. But but we didn't pass was my point. <laughs> um, that being said, we didn't pass. <laughs> uh, and... It's not like a, oh, your your place gets gets shut down or anything. Like, it's not that kind of thing. But it's it's not, it is definitely frowned upon. Um, and then they come back. <laughs> and uh, they did, they did like a, I've never heard of this before. But they did like a mock visit today to see if, they had gotten, if we, I, I say we as though I'm not part of it, but like I'm not part of the shift that is doing this. So to see if that shift, if, if we had gotten more prepared and I guess, <laughs> I guess they did worse than the actual first time when we failed. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Um, it's, it's not funny, but it's one of those situations where we get so much of our time told how, how horrible we are and we're not the ones who failed it. <laughs> I know. I shouldn't. <laughs> anyway, I'm tired rambling right now. I just, but anyway, so it was a, it was a stressful day <laughs> all around, I guess. Um, <laughs> so things have been tense, needless to say, at work. Um, I guess might be where I was going with that. <laughs> um, in my sleepiness, I don't know. Oh, so so things have been unrealistic, yeah, with expectations and workloads and um, there's really nothing they're going to do to give me more people. <laughs> uh, they're going to say they can't, but even if they could, I'm sure they would put more people in days. Um, you just kind of got to laugh, I guess. Um But then when we're when we're short short changed like that, people not showing up and uh, stuff really 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 hurt you. And that happened today, so we were hurting pretty bad, and everybody was struggling to to make up for it, you know. And like I mean, I think everybody did really great, but it still was it was bad. Um, yeah, it was really bad. I definitely did more than I feel like my feet probably should have done. But, um, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do to get everything moving, I guess. <sighs> I'll probably feel that later, I guess. Um, and I'm sure that's why I'm so tired, because lately I have been attempting to, like, listen and stay off of my feet the best that I can. I mean, it's not going to happen, but I've been trying the best that I can. So I'm, I have not been used to, um, the workload as much as, you know, 
normal. Oh, I didn't think I'd talk as much as I have. So I didn't think the light would shut off on me. Hi, Maverick. You coming to check on me? Because I told you this would be short. Mommy gets to talking, huh? Oh, you big stretching? You tired too, huh? He's tired, little man. Are you going to come say hi? Come here. Come say hello. You have to... If you're gonna come say hi to me, you have to show up, huh? Oh, look at that big yawn. You so sleepy. You so sleepy, huh, little man? You gonna tell everybody how mean mommy was and not feeding you with my foods, huh? Hmm? You gonna tell everybody how mean mama is? <sighs> Bye. <laughs> anyway um but yeah so i am definitely a lot more tired for it today i have one more day to go um and then hopefully i can rest uh david's job is finally giving him the three days off that he like never seems to get anymore so he's gonna have a couple of days off uh with me so that will be nice. Um, so we'll see if he lets me sleep. <laughs> see if he lets me rest. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah. Um, I have my squares that I'm going to show you guys. And then I probably will just stop rambling today. And like I said, keep this pretty short. So, you know, I am doing, oh, is this resting? Hold on. I did my Joanne's yarn haul yesterday, and I have my, my Boogie Nights yarn resting on the table so I can clear some space and put it by my other Boogie Nights yarn up here. And I had it resting on, there we go. It was easy. It, didn't, it wasn't resting too hard. I had it resting on my cauldron. So I was... Ooh, maybe I spoke too soon. I was afraid I was going to have a big yarn yarn avalanche here, but I just had one bad gee fall. Anyway. Um, so, if you have been joining me at all, you'll notice there are some folded up papers in this beautiful little cauldron here. Uh, what I've been doing is there were 31 papers in here. Uh... And if you are familiar with my other obsession of Stranger Things here, um, you will recognize some of the, you will recognize what's folded up in here, which are people and places from the, the Stranger Things universe. Um, they are people and places that are important to, to adhere to my nerdy side, to my fanfic writing, because yes, I write fanfic. Um... They are important to me, to my stories. Um, and I am taking those people and places. I'm taking the scraps because the Vlogtober, Vlogmas type of months are all about advents, right? Which this is my little homemade version. Advents, uh, making things from your advents or making a scrap project comfort everything like that uh so i'm combining all of that and i am making an adventy scrappy blanket f from the fanfic goodness of stranger things all the things combined into one so it's going to be my scrappy fanfic stranger things blanket follow me um i have chosen my diamond pattern my diamond granny square pattern uh and i like i said i've been using up uh i've been using my scraps i don't think i've used up any yet maybe one one i have but my, that's my ever going ongoing mission is to uh use up my scraps out there so um yesterday i had chosen mike wheeler and I'm going to put the picture up. Uh, you would have seen it yesterday, too, that I had decided to use, which is a picture of Mike from the Snowball. Um, 
which is uh, a lot of, he's wearing a lot of neutrals, right? Um, I loved Mike at the snowball. It was, he was just so darn cute. All the kids were so darn cute then. Like, they were so little, first of all. And that was uh, season two, at the end of season two. Um, but it was like after he had, um, he had just gotten, like he spent, what was it? He had met Eleven, you know, obviously in season one. And he had already said to her at, when they were in like the cafeteria when he was like, um, so I was thinking when this was over, we could go to the snowball together. And that's when she was like, uh, asking if they would be like brother and sister and he was like what no like <laughs> it like really creeped him out that she uh, thought th thought that way at first and um like that scene was so cute so he was like introducing his little plan then but that's when 11 they thought she you know had unalived <laughs> um and then hopper kept her secret of course during most of season two and then he got her back and they got to go to the snowball finally and I don't know the kids were just so cute and I don't know he just his little outfit I definitely had the yarn scraps for that outfit um and it ended up being like I said um especially compared to some of the other ones uh really neutral because both colors were were neutral but I think it'll look really good in my blanket uh, so here is what I had came up with. Here's the squares. So this with the gray is a uh, Karen Jumbo and the camel color. That's the same color I used for the Lucas Sinclair one. Um, it's camel, I believe, by Big Twist Value. But yeah, I think that compared to some of the other ones, it'll go nice like side by side with them. And then I did make the contrast one. So those are my two squares for Mike. Mike and the snowball. And then I am ready to draw from the cauldron again and get a new name or place. Hopefully have a better time drawing that. I mean, I'll have more time anyway, just because um, for filming tomorrow, I'm, I'm at least off the next day. So it won't matter how late I stay up or anything. Are you coming in to watch me? You coming in to watch me draw? Which one should I pick? Which one? This one? This, oh, which one? This one? This one right here? Okay, that one? Okay. Maverick, help me. He's the decision maker here. You want to see it first? Here, let me wipe your tear. You want to see it first? Right there? Can you see it? Which one is it? Oh, I'm not, am I not going to like it? Okay, bye. Oh! It's Hawkins. So it's a place, again. So it's straight up Hawkins. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have a picture for this one. If I do, I'm going, I'm going to put it over here. Like, I don't know if I'll have an inspiration picture, I'm saying, for this one. Um, because Hawkins, for me, I can, I can tell you right now, it's going to be, like, in my mind. Hawkins has always been, like, warm browns and oranges, which is what I imagine I'll be using. So it's going to be kind of like fair martish from the other day. I'll have to think on that and see. Like, I'll do some Googling and thinking about it. Or if you guys have any suggestions yourself between now, you know, drop them down below for me. And I'll, I'll read them before... Because this will go up, and then I'll go to sleep. And then I'll work, most likely, before I work on my squares. So what do you, what do you think the colors 
for Hawkins would be. <laughs> but um, to me, that's what... Because, you know, like, the 80s and... And, you know, my, my, my squares are generally only two. I Here's the Fairmart square again, just to... So I do... I can work in a couple of, of colors, you know, in there, but... Um, yeah, Hawkins to me is... It's like browns, like something warm. Which, I mean, it's my blanket, right? I could have it matching the Fairmart square if I want to. But <laughs> um, I have to think about it otherwise. But yeah. And, and maybe I will. Maybe I will. It, it's not really that, it wouldn't be that bad. I, I had said yesterday with the Fairmark squares, I could make a whole blanket of those. I really like those. Um, but yeah, like I said, there may there may not be an inspiration picture because I feel like it would be like a picture of a map, but I'm not going to do like a map for inspiration. I don't know. We'll see. To be determined. Um, but yes. So it's going to be Hawkins for tomorrow. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know, but I think on that note, uh, I've gone on longer than I thought I would. Um, I'm very, very sleepy. Uh, I intended to do so much more tonight. Uh, like time with these squares really, really got away from me. Uh, cause I know I still need to do the drawing for Stranger Summer. I have never never been this late with the drawing for Stranger Summer. Um, and I still have my uh, September winner for the Great Fiber Cake Off, which I know I am a little late each month on those. <laughs> but I wanted to do that, like, pretty quickly. Um, so I think I will end up drawing both of those either tomorrow night or over this weekend for me, which my weekends are Sunday and Monday. Um... I was hoping to have it done by Sunday, so if you guys contact me, I can send stuff out on Monday. So that's my goal. My goal is to have the, the videos for those up by Sunday. <laughs> um, or at least by, like, Sunday night. Because most of the time you guys contact me pretty quickly. Um, but... Yeah, I, I was just... I was so tired. I'm, I'm tired right now. I hope this uploads very quickly. So on that note, I am going to let you go and I will talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully the day is better for at work tomorrow and goes really quickly. And uh, Maverick, do you want to say goodbye? No, nope. he's content. He's, he's settled in on the couch. <laughs> so... All right, I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.